Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good people. My name is Martin Morage, and today I'm coming to you to read another story from uh, the Millionaire Everyday Millionaires. It's another Everyday Millionaire story from the book by Chris Hogan. I hope you like the video. I hope you like the not just the video, the content of the video that I'll be reading. I hope you get to learn something from it. Hope uh, you subscribe, like, share, I don't know, if you feel obliged, if you feel obliged. Otherwise, here we go. Everyday Millionaire. Clark was raised in a suburban, middle-class family, but he describes his parents as having been terrible with money. They didn't give him a good example of wise money management, and even though they appeared to have a good life, Clark remembers money always being a struggle for them. After serving in the Air Force, Clark completed degrees in aeronautical engineering and math, and he had a successful career as an applied physicist in the plastics industry. Clark work, has worked hard, invested wisely, avoided debt, and slowly grown his net worth from zero dollars when he first started tracking, tracking it on an Excel spreadsheet 20 years ago to over three million dollars today. He stayed away from, the, from flashy, high-risk investments and instead maxed out his company 401k plan. Once he and his wife hit 50 years old, they kicked things up a notch and maxed out their allowable catch-up contributions, throwing even more money into their 401ks. They stuck to mutual funds, which let them enjoy the growth of the market without the risks of single stocks. Through all this, Clark knew his financial success was in his hands and no one else's. He says, if I am a success, I can pat myself on the back. If I am a failure, I have nobody else to blame but me. It's amazing how many millionaires told us sim something similar. Clearly, self-reliance is a key part of the average millionaire's character. Although his focus on mutual funds and 401ks may seem extremely cautious to some, he sees it as a good balance between risk and reward. He's taken enough risks to build his net worth to millionaire level, but not so much that any one mistake could wipe him out. It's all been part of the plan to set for him, he set for himself as a young man. Clark cautions other future millionaires not to be too scared to take some risks in their investing, in their investing strategy. When we asked him what keeps most people from becoming millionaires, he broke it down into two things. Playing it too safe, in parentheses, avoiding all risk, and not having a long-term plan. When you have a good plan that you've thought through and researched, he said, you should be able to take some non-fatal risks to hit the goal. However, if you are flying by the seat of your pants or always getting distracted by the new opportunity, you'll always be moving one step forward and ten steps back. Successful people like Clark know that's, that's not the path to millions. Thank you for watching. That is the story of Clark. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope to uh, get another view from you tomorrow when I post another video. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a great day, great week, great month, great year. Adios.